I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Jeez, I didn't even get tea or anything, but I am back. I was not gone for poop. I ate my poop. I ate my poop. Ooh, the gorillas. Look at this. We're getting there. Canic research is almost done. Like, we're so close. Australia theme is done. What's left? North Africa theme? South America theme? And power, which we're not even using. Holy crap. Nice. Um, look, I was uh, I played a little bit this morning while I was waiting for uh, Triforce to start and some other stuff. Uh, I got rid of this, uh, this area over here because I hated it. I just moved two of the seating places over here instead. I think this will be fine for now. We can uh, we can change it around if we need to as well. And then I just was decorating around here. Oh, and I started putting together some stuff for some um, some more exhibits. There's the walkthrough exhibit as well. I don't know what you put in the walkthrough one though. Is it for like butterflies and stuff like that? Have a train track through the middle of the gorilla villa. Man, I don't really want to have a train track through the middle of the gorilla villa though. Can you put birds in there? You can put birds inside the walkthrough thing? Look, I got rid of the whole thing that goes around because I'm going to... I'm going to leave this one here because you might be able to see them like around here. But like, look, I removed this one too because this is all closed off. Like, it's just, it's mainly just scenery because the they're actual enclosure, the walkable space in the enclosure is going to be this middle bit here. You get me? Have a boat ride through the gorilla moat? I guess we could. Huh? We'd have to build like a dock and everything for it though. Like, Who would even go on this boat ride? I wonder. Yeah, now you got me thinking. Maybe we should have a boat ride. Where does that even come under? Transport rides. We got the Transport 4x4 Adventure Tour. We got Monorail. We got the river boat. Oh, it's huge though, chat. Look at the size of this. I mean, maybe the track could go, but we'd have to we'd have to expand this out a little bit. You're doing great, Dad. It could be kind what of What if cool. I took out my massive badonkers and did all the things you talked about in the podcast? I can't be asked <laughs> to repeat all that. Shrump Thank you so much for the 50. I appreciate it. Hat Films, thanks so much for the raid as well. Sorry I wasn't here to uh, to say thanks. I don't even know if they're still here. But uh, Shrump, thanks for the 50. Holy shit. Uh, don't do any of that. I was uh, I was I was just um, I was making a, uh, a a terrible observation, and um, it does that doesn't need to happen. But thank you very much for the 50. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. How many park guests have been maimed by the gorillas? Not not that many. Uh, surprisingly, you'd think there would have been way more maimed, but the maimings have been pretty, pretty low. There's been pretty low level of maiming. It's been, it's been fine. It's been fine with the maiming. Request an exhibit animal. View the exhibit animal market. Exhibit trading. Exhibit animal market. You want to get some frogs? We can only use leaf points to get some of these frogs. There is an American bullfrog here called Gazan. He's gone. Now listen up. I'm in charge. I hereby decree all hair in the chat must be fabulous. We've a lot of work to do. True. A lot. Before he gets back I want to see beautiful flows. I'm the boss man now. So quickly before he gets back, be fabulous, Fabio. You could put a diamond, uh, a diamondback terrapin in here. Hey, Fabio, thanks so much for the ten. I appreciate it. A terrapin. Or what about an eastern blue-tongued lizard? Oh, there's beetles, scorpions, bigger scorpions, a giant Malaysian leaf insect. A giant tiger land snail? A gila monster? What about golden poison frogs? What about a goliath frog? Look at this guy. He's huge. Okay, I'm adopting him. Let's get uh let's get a 
a boy and a girl frog and put them in here. We're requesting. Okay, good. We can do some research on these things too. Um, animals, layout, climate, customized log, maintenance, management. Shromp, thank you so much for the 20 gift subs. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. We Is it maintenance? Climate? I have quite low welfare at the moment. They're not in... Oh, the exhibit layout cleanliness the temperature and humidity are both wrong okay what do we need view all of the species stud book genetics where does it say what they need on uh, the zoopedia terrain are gorilla viewing domes available or would they crush it i don't know we could try. I'm not sure. I'm not sure um, how I... I guess I gotta just look it up in uh, in here. Oh no, I can't. Zoopedia. The Goliath Frog. It needs um, 74 to 86% humidity and 26 to 32 temperature. It needs to be hot. Humidity and temperature is getting there. We'll make it 30 degrees. Okay, the, these two should be happy now. Climate, customize. Window one. Okay, so window two. Let's have a three D facade. A three D facade. And then in here, let's have a 3D facade as well. Nice. And maybe window 4? Not window 4. Can we do a 3D facade here? That's okay. Look, it's like... I think that's fine. All right. Climate looks good. Layout, we need to research a bit more. That's fine. Where do I do the... Um, Zoopedia building split from group... Maintenance, create new work zone, staff work zone, management. This is the one. Manage the population. Okay. We want one male and one female. Perfect. Okay. People can admire some of these frogs. I don't see the frogs. They're in here somewhere, probably. I don't know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Goliath frog? some um, donation um, bins as well right we'll put donation bins here and here she's checking her phone she's wants to see 
if there's more information about these frogs available. Turns out there's not terrain. Let's get some soil on here. Oh yeah, we want to make sure that... Look at these guys. They're doing great. Nature. All right, we can get like some, uh, like a bigger tree in here too, maybe. Like a coconut palm would be nice. And then there's like the the bendy one that comes off. Uh, we don't want it to come off like this way though, because we're gonna make a sign here, right? We're gonna make a sign for the gorilla enclosure. Dr. Eddie Monroe's incredible Gorilla Island. Dr. Eddie Monroe's, believe it or not, it's a Gorilla Island. Research is done. <laughs> All right, let's do some more research. The Island of Dr. Eddie Monroe. <laughs> the Isle of Dr. Eddie Monroe. Monroe. Should we put some more stuff in here? Like what? We got lots of uh, axolotls. Ax axolotls. Axolotls? 
Do you want to put some terrapins in? nice it's really nice okay um, customize close that close that close this and then we'll do the 2d facade since we can't do a bigger one and then once we do some more research we can add some lights and some other stuff oops sorry I popped it by accident. <laughs> Better buy another one. What? The balloon. Sorry. Sorry. Bertha is hungry. Um, these guys need what? 21 to 32, 65 to 80. Yeah, that should do it. Keep these guys in a good temperature as well. Very hot. Very hot. Maybe a little too hot. I'm banned from your your Minecraft server. What did I do? What because of the because of these because of these terrapins? How am I gonna do um how am I gonna do my Minecraft um videos now? If that's the case. I can't even get on the server to to film them. Are we sure that the gorillas can't climb up? No, look, I've left like a little lip under here. I don't think they can climb up. I mean, they might be able to climb up. I'm hoping that this is not the case, though. Hum. I don't think I could put these on this uh, slant here. I'd probably have to do wall decorations and do it, do it my damn self. I don't know if I have the right wall decoration pieces that I need. That might look okay.
kind of looks like prison bars, though. I don't know how I'm going to get, like, a wall on that curve. I think it, maybe it's too hard to do. It might be just easier to do with rocks. Bertha, what's wrong? Bertha's not eating. Maybe some pillars? Yeah, I don't want them to go underneath it, though. I don't want them to pop out underneath there. I don't mind if they go over this side, but I don't want them going underneath here. And then, you know, I don't think they can make it over, but I don't want to take the risk, you know? Gorillas are notorious no clippers. What, more so than, than otters? I don't think so. I think otters are the one. Alright. There's a toxic turd inside the uh, the thing that we have to get rid of. A bar in a prison. Do 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 Okay, these guys are fine except for their layout is not great. And these guys in here should be fine too. So we got a couple of uh we got a couple of exhibits and then of course we have our resident axolotls. He's, yeah, this, this is the otter magic I'm talking about. I don't know how they do it, but... It costs me a thousand bucks every time they do it. Pins. What are these? Goliath frogs. Do 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 do. Oh. Okay. Good. So we should have some new layout options here. This the research makes them happier and happier and happier. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm so sorry, Chad. Jesus Christ. Alice the King Penguin is about to mature. Fuck, I forgot we had King Penguins. Oh my god, we have so many of them now. <laughs> Holy shit. They've been busy. Hey, look at this guy. He's putting on a show for everybody. They love it. They love watching them splashing around. How could I know? I'm so sorry. I know. It's not the best. What can you do, though, eh? Alright, so we got a couple of exhibits in here. 
We want to move. Whoops. Let's move this thing over here. And this is going to be for axolotls. There's a couple of people come in to check these things out. It's fine. That's fine. Do do. Oh look, I made a little thing on the back here too. It's got all these. <laughs> it's got a whole bunch of animals walking around with some leaves. I don't know. I mean, you'll be able to see it from up here, I guess. I don't know. Can I kiss my mic? It would make Erica really happy. What to kiss my mic? Need some ivy on here. Just a tiny, just a, just a, just a, a little, a smattering. Just a little bit of ivy, I think, just to sort of uh, make it look like a bit more uh, grown over here, you know? A little bit more grown up. We'll put a bit on the side here, too. Why not? back and then we can continue doing some detailing over here we'll probably finish this uh, area up a little bit let's just get a couple more bushes and stuff in here i think it'll be nice no more ivy for now Poopy go, where the poopy go, where the poopy go.
Sorry, chat, I still got a whole bunch of stuff happening on my house and people just randomly turn up when they feel like it. That's why I gotta go AFK all the damn time. But, we're almost done now. It's like, they're on like the last thing, but... I don't know if you've ever had any like, um... Big like, housework done before, but the, la the last... The last little things are always the shit that takes the longest, right? They just, they just drag their feet with it all. They're <laughs> building the Dowie and Erica wing? No, not quite. Not quite. The secret back cave, yeah. No, I mean it's, it's it's been it's been nuts. It is it has been such a long time since they started doing all this stuff and sometimes it's like weeks you don't even see them you know they just like they just turn up when they feel like it i get that they're busy with like other stuff or whatever but man at the same time like you're so you're so close to being done just come in and finish the the damn thing you know Drink even more tea than me. When am I getting the loft done? Well, we can we can start on it whenever we want, pretty much. But it's just a case of finding the right people to do it and getting started on it. You know. So I don't know I don't know when we're going to, but we do need uh, to convert our loft because we need some we need some extra space. We got, we have five people, five, five people living in our house. Hey, nice. Okay, gorillas all done. We know everything there is to know about gorillas. Let's get Rose Osborne to start researching terrapins for us. Be good. Is anybody watching um, the UK uh, Married at First Sight, the, the new season of it? Oh my god, man. We've been watching it. We weren't going to bother. Because uh, we were just, like, kind of done with it. But we started watching it, and it is... Oh, God, it's, it's so frustrating to watch sometimes. Your mom loves it? I'm the only one? No, no. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not the only one. There's tons of people watching it. Sadly. S sadly. Um, it, is, uh, it, is, it, it is pretty frustrating to watch. I'm always, I always just left with the same feeling of why do people even bother to, I know why they go on the show, I know they want like their five minutes of fame or whatever, but I feel like this, like if they actually found people that were interested in being compatible with other people, the show would just be much more interesting to watch, like they probably get, would get better ratings. Uh, because it would it would actually be genuinely a bit more interesting to watch, rather than these uh, strange um, like children and adults bodies that they tend to find for the uh, for the show instead. Like like people with the, with the actual emotional intelligence of a newborn. Like uh, it, 
but they're like 40 years old. It's insane. <clears throat> I saw that Man Matt Hancock is in the latest series of SAS. Yeah, we're gonna watch it. We're just we're waiting for it to uh, air, and then we'll we'll just like binge through it. That that guy is unbelievable. I mean, he is just he's something else, eh? You gotta have balls to be that that hated and still. Feel like you 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 want to be on reality TV shows and stuff like I don't know. SAS it's like um it's the uh, British Special Forces, and it's a there's a show where ex Special Forces uh, guys run like a like a boot camp like a selection process, and contestants can spend a couple of weeks trying to prove that they're tough enough to be in the SAS but they do a celebrity one as well so Matt Hancock is uh, is an is a former Tory politician who was uh, well he was disgraced right he had an affair during COVID um, and was forced to step down because of it Anyway, so he's he's one of the celebrities on on uh, on the on the latest uh, season of uh, SAS Celebrity SAS, but he's been in in some other stuff too, right? He was on like I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and a couple of other things too. If you watch any of those stupid shows. Got some diseased animals. Somebody's gonna rake all these leaves. I know there's too many leaves. Okay, I think that's most of the themes, except for we have not worked on the South America theme, which we'll start working on now. Melinda Moran is gonna start working on it. Oh, that looks great. That looks nice. We got this corner here that we need to uh, to do some stuff on, finish. I don't know what we could put down here. There's a room potentially for some facilities down here if we really wanted to get maybe another bathroom or something. I suppose there's one just in here, so it's not too far. We could maybe do like some more um, drinks and stuff. I'm not saying do another one of these outdoor things, because I think this one's a bit unique and maybe like its own thing, but there's potentially some room over here for some other stuff. Don't call her a moron. Okay, I'm sorry. We might be able to put like a really tiny exhibit over here. Maybe like put some little rats in or something. 
What about like some little tiny rats? Does such a thing exist? What's a small animal that could go in here? What's something really small? Prairie dogs. Prairie dogs. I think I might have turned off the weather, yeah. Cougar? Sheep? What's a dohole? What's a dohole? Oh, it's like a little little fox. They need quite a bit of space, actually. They need more space than gorillas do. I guess they need to, like, roam around a bit. Ostrich, cloud leopard, capybara, a, a, a bongo, a bonobo, a, a, a bonobo. What about a black-tailed prairie dog? Okay, black-tailed prairie dog does not need a lot of room. We could get a couple of these little prairie dogs in. You want to or no? You think it's too tight to to shove another enclosure in here? A little cafe? Gonna make the meerkats jealous with the, with the prairie dogs? I, the meerkats have quite a big uh, <laughs> quite a big enclosure. Look at this guy. This guy is just loving life. Everybody who's watching them are, is loving life as well from inside the dome. God, they love that. That's your spirit animal? A meerkat. Yeah. Yeah, they are cute for sure. We can maybe... Okay. Yeah, fine. Let's get some prairie dogs in here. Let's get some little prairie dogs in here. And then we can maybe do a, another viewing dome. That could be fun. That's enough room. barriers, right? That's like takes up most of the enclosure though. Habitat required? Dome. Where's the dome? <laughs> oh, oh boy, man, people are going to love this. I don't even know if this is big enough, actually. Let's see. Animal trading. What are we looking for? A, what was it? What was the prairie dog called again? Black-tailed prairie dog.
All right. It's a cute enclosure. It's very small. It's a very, very small one. But let's see. We need uh, we need a cleaner in here, ASAP. Please clean up all this poop. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Where's he going? Oh, he's bringing the... Uh, oh, yeah, of course. He's coming from the Trade Center. He's bringing the, uh, the Prairie Dogs. This guy should come in and clean up now, I think. Clean the poop myself. No. No, no, no. I will not. We're gonna we're gonna need some really big poop scoops. You're right. Keeper urgently assigned. We have enough keepers. Oh, here he comes. Yes. Good job. Good job. There. No more disease risks. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, this guy is a little bit thirsty. He's in his burrow right now. These look at how small these things are. Holy crap, they're so small. Okay, terrain. Oh gosh. They have just enough s space. No. They lack a little bit of space. Okay. I know exactly what to do. They make little um, holes and stuff. All right. Just enough space. Needs a hard shelter. Needs some short... Hey, look. It. People are actually coming to look at these guys already. And they're making chirping sounds. Some short grass. They need far less soil. Okay, hard shelter, habitat. Oh, these guys are cute. Species. Was a black-tailed prairie dog? Okay, that should be the hard shelter requirement met. It is. And then their environment, coverage and stuff. They don't need much. They just need a couple of little... Look, they can have an Aleppo tree in here if they want. That's a bit big. That's not too bad. Oh, look, people are actually uh, quite uh, quite impressed with these little guys, somehow. I, I mean, they are cute. Hey, 
they don't want uh, too much stuff in their enclosure at all. Look, the coverage is almost maxed out. Oh, incompatible continent? Oh, it's because we went tropical... Um, Africa, I think? So, we can't have this, or this. They don't like that. Oh, look! Oh, man, they're really cute! Look, they look like little guinea pigs. They look like little chipmunks. They look like little squirrels. Oh, they're cute. They are cute. All right, the coverage now is too much with this this bush. They might get grumpy. Again, too much. We can have one bush. We can have one tree only. Oh, nice. I think this might uh, mess up their living space. Yeah, it does. Okay, no enrichment, but we haven't research them yet. We could do a um, a tunnel for them. And maybe like a, a fun tennis ball for them to play with as well. Oh yeah, of course, we'll probably want to give them um, tunnel, food enrichment, a melon feeder, food and water. That research is complete. Oh, on the frog again. <coughs> this enclosure is hilarious. I mean, we can't put anything in here. They seem pretty happy though. Look, they're making uh, lots of noise. Uh, we need to feed them food. They will need some food. I don't seem to have to be able to place this anywhere. This one's even bigger. Alright, we might just have to feed them watermelons. Do you think one watermelon is enough to feed all of them? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think they don't like the the tree. I think you're right. I think we should just get some little tufty tufty bushes here and there. I think that'll make the, the whole place look a little bit better actually. Okay, we can fit a lot more stuff in here when we uh, don't have the big tree. This might be too much though. It's just enough, okay. Perfect, perfect. Enrichment. Nice. Alright, well, there you go. I mean, it kind of breaks the rules that we set out when we said no uh, no path um, viewing and stuff like that. But, you know, what can you do? What can you do about that? I don't know. Let's make sure that we take some nice donations. Pop a balloon? What do you think I am? Some sort of maniac? I'm not doing that. Is path viewing considered bad? No, not not really. It just it just clogs up uh, some of the um, some of the paths that people use to to get to places. It's it's not bad. We were just trying to avoid it a bit by doing these like like we'll have a square of path around, and then inside we'll have pathing just for the exhibit. Donations, you say? Shram, um, <laughs> thank you so much for the. 50. Jesus Christ, man. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> a big fifth. Thank you so much, Trump. Thank you. Oh, my God. Trump does not have an animal. No, Trump, do you want to be um, one of these guys? With your, with your, uh, with your partner Ang Patu, Ang Patu. Yeah, I can't pronounce this one, so you can be this one, okay? Shrump. Thanks. There you go. You're a prairie dog. You've just burrowed into the ground as well. Enjoy. <laughs> Diamondback Terrapin. There's an active disease. Cowpox. Okay. Thanks. Shrump, thank you once again. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks for the thanks for the fifty. Apples Apple Smillion. Thanks so much for the five gift subs as well. Sorry I missed it. Appreciate it. Thank you. You love active disease. <laughs> Me too. Okay, well this works down here, I guess. We've got an, a little tiny enclosure for 
prairie dogs. And people seem to like it enough. Look, there's quite a few people here enjoying the prairie dogs. They're hitting the glass so much that it's cracking. It might even crack open if we don't have a, um, a maintenance person visit before long. Yeah, it's quite nice down here, I think. I think it's looking pretty good. What was the first K-pop band? Whatever. Now you're asking. I have no idea. Pink, pink, pink baby. Pink, pink babies. Is it pink babies? The Beatles. It was that, but Dragon Force? <laughs> no, well, come on. It wasn't Anal Cunt. I don't think Anal Cunt are a K-pop act. Or maybe they are? Who knows? Okay. We have some major um, issues in here around thirst, right? Maybe it's time for the meerkats to have their own water pipe. So that we don't have to wait for the keeper to come in and constantly fill up. should have just done that a long time ago for the meerkats they always seem to be quite thirsty hey look who's cleaning up very nice south america theme we've started working on we need someone to come look at this window before it breaks we do look it is on the verge of breaking it's in bad shape it's in the worst shape this window's ever been in ever. Meerkats, I think, are DLC. I don't think they're vanilla. Because when we, when we... I can't remember what pack they came in, though. Where the poopy go? Do you think we need a cactus or two in here? You don't think the cactus is environment correct? I think it's it is. No. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, the cactus is fine.
know why we have um, palm trees in this one, but that's fine. I'll I'll take it. It's like just a mix of all sorts of stuff. Look at, check out this fig tree. Oh, hey, look. We can make the, uh, the, the, the Terryland uh, entrance, which looks like an Asda store. The, the entrance of an Asda. Remember, remember when we built this? God, this took forever. It's got lights on it and everything. And it's got a monorail station. A room for a monorail station, at least in the, in the top bit. You love how the A is tiny? Yeah, I know, it's like, it's some like artistic, uh, <laughs> it's my, it's me and my, my, my license, my license to make the letters as big or as small as I want to. What is this? A ponytail palm tree. What a weird tree. Oh, they're going into the viewing thing. Prairie dogs. Where'd they go? Where's the watermelon? Uh oh. And he's had no nourishment. Are these empty? Empty. Empty. Man, the meerkat enclosure is, uh, I think it needs some work. It's not working. Oh, we could probably put a queue in, yeah. I don't think we have any queues. I don't know if, um, I don't know if Q will uh, connect up to this, though. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, look, there's somebody manning the queue. There's a queue to see the, par the prairie dogs. Can we do the same thing here? Ah, uh, we don't really need to do it on that one. Uh, we're not really set up for it either. Does that mean that we can charge people? No, it's a ride ticket booth, but... Let's see if this actually works. I don't know if it does. Can I show the ice zone? This one here. The penguins. 
this is the ice zone. Look, we got like a Dr. Eddie's penguin pen sign. And then it's just uh, like a, a like a, an enclosure with a moat. They could swim in the moat, and then they got all this area up here to fart around in. Cue to the black void. It you like this one? Yeah, I like this one too. Actually, it turned, this bit's not mine. I didn't make this. This bit's one of the ploppables, but I just put it on top of all this other stuff in it. It just kind of finished it off. It looks, it looks great. I like it. I think the uh, we need to look into the gorillas and uh, their stress levels. We might need to do like a, like a one-way glass or something like that, right? Because they get stressed out really easy. Got to build them a feel-good place. This is Brian. He gets, they get stressed out really easily. And right now he's very stressed. I think he looks up and he sees all these people and he can't. Can't do it. If you can put quiet signs for guests, so they'll make less noise. Really? Where is that? Does it come under facilities? No. Quiet? No. Habitat. Oh, under security. Where's security? Barriers? Oh, these ones. Security signs do not disturb. Do not feed. Does this actually help? come under security negative security and crime do not disturb signs So this will reduce the stress levels because people will be more quiet. Oh yeah, it has. Look at the stress. People aren't being that quiet though. Can use the ambient speakers as well. Does that actually work? Does this come under buildings, power, water, habitat? Education? 
Oh yeah, African noises, so yeah. I don't think there is. Jungle, South American jungle, by the beach, underwater. Frogs, birds, desert at night, rainforest. Jungle. I don't know if that actually helps. Um, the be uh, the be quiet signs have definitely worked though. These guys are far less stressed. <laughs> Ryan likes the sound of waves. He loves the sound of waves. He loves surfing. Brian loves surfing. Okay. <gasps> They're eating the melon. The melon has been eaten. Okay, do we have any more enrichment items for them? Nothing new. No climbables. No new food options either. Oh, look, they're playing. They're playing with each other. That's really cute, isn't it? That's a cute little enclosure. It's just what you need. It's like the perfect size. Any more would have been too much. You're worried that the cue you suggested doesn't work? You could be right. I don't know if we need one here anyway, though, realistically. looks like from up top there's a balloon here it's popped yeah this is really shaping up it's looking nice like uh, i like that we got like some buildings and stuff there's a lot more detailing that needs to be done around the gorillas especially but it is it is starting to get there When do you unlock nuclear power? I turned all the power stuff off. I didn't want to bother with it. All this space in these corners that we could maybe just put similar to how we did with the uh, with the prairie dogs maybe we can put like a little like um, enclosure here for like uh, lem lemurs or something that doesn't need to be a huge one and then we can have the viewing for it like here instead public transportation we will need for sure yeah okay animal market No. Cheetah, pangolin, a leopard, ostrich, warthog, cougar, sheep, a dehole, dingoes, 
black bear, giant tortoise, Galapagos giant tortoise, uh, giant otter, which we have, panda, seal, bear, bear, hippopotamus, peafowl, king penguin we have. Koalas could be fun. Koalas are so cute too. We could get a couple of koalas. <laughs> Make a Dota Zoo with all the Dota animals. Seals right here. I don't know. I feel like seals. <laughs> you think you think seal? How much space do they need? Oh my god, they need like no space. Minimum habitat requirements is so small. They need water and stuff. I wonder if we could make it so that they could go out here in this water. But then if they got, got on there, the gorillas would kill them probably, right? They do need a lot of water. Would be gorilla food. I think koalas or koalas or lemurs. Lemurs. You want a koala or, or a lemur here? Koala or lemur? No, 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 no seals here. Okay, we'll do a we'll do something different for seals. We'll do a big one. What about some macaques? We could do ta tapirs. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Platypus, monkey, antelope, horse. What about some Przelski's horses? Oh, thanks very much. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Got it? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. I got some tea chat. A crane. We could put some flamingos here. Tiger, leopard, cassowary, caiman, hyenas need more space. Gazelle, wolf, lion, chimpanzee. Do I not have lemurs? I might not even have them, you know? Where the hell, um, what the, what pack are they in? I do. Crane. I don't see him. Oh, red rough lemurs. Here we go. Oh, yeah, these things are cute, eh? Okay, how much space do these guys need? They don't need a lot of space. They need to climb, though. They need to be able to climb, right? Bright red fur with black face and tail. Yeah, no, they don't need a lot. They do need... Um, they need grade one climb proof. 1.25 meters. That, that's nothing. Oh, black tail is the other? Oh, black tail... Okay, interspecies enrichment. We got the black and white ruffed and the ring-tailed as well. We could put a couple of these in here. A couple of different lemurs, right? Ring-tailed. We should have those as well. Do not touch the feet. Okay, true story. I took my kids to the zoo, and uh, in Jersey Zoo, they have these things. And we were looking at them, and they were... They're, they're, some of them were outside, climbing around or whatever, having fun. And there was a couple of them inside, and one of them, I'm not even joking, was pressed up against the glass inside with a huge boner. Just pressing his dick, like, right up against the glass. Have you ever seen what, a, a lemur do that before? He was sitting there with, like, just a huge hard-on, and then just started, like, pressing himself right up against the glass with a, with a, with a boner. Don't lie, it was me. It was not me. It was not. It was not me. It wasn't me. Okay, so these all hail from Madagascar, in a tropical biome, which kind of fits with the uh, with the look over here. This is a sort of a tropical looking thing as well, right? Looks a bit tropical over here.
I feel like the the um, using these like little squares for smaller things will fill it up better, kind of like what we did with the prairie dogs here, right? And then it'll just make this whole square look a lot more interesting because there's more happening inside of it. I'm good with it if you guys are. Habitat barriers. So it just needs to be a grade one. Glass is grade three. What the heck if, if even is grade one? Oh, a hedge. But it has to be climb proof. Let's have quite a few lemurs in here. Why not, right? That's not not straight. That's better. Okay, these ones, I want them to have glass. Perfect. Okay, and then they have to be climb proof as well, right? <laughs> Is this all on the inside? Looks like it. Good. So they can't climb up these things now? Name them first Lemur, le, Lemur Boner? Lemur, lem, le, lem, le, Lemur. The baby giraffe is as tall as you. Holy crap. It's crazy. Animal trading, okay. Okay, okay. Animal market. So, filters. So, we want the ringed. Ring tailed. 
Lemure, and we want the black tailed, black and white ruffed lemur as well, right? We'll get a couple of these. These can all live together happily. Okay, let's get um, let's get this guy in. Let's get this one in. Um, let's get him. Let's get her. And then let's get this guy. And this one. Okay. Habitat needs... What the heck is going on with these paths? Do 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 do. Okay, Goliath Frog is all done. Got misters in here. We've got baskin lamps in here. Look at the misters. That's so cool. And there he is. Look. I see him. There's one in the water too. So where are these ones? You gotta really look for him, huh? Oh, I see him! He's huge! He's in the back! There he is! Nice. Do 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 do. Animal storage. Sending these guys in. Habitat. Let's reset these filters. Right. So, for this, we need. Um, I'll wait for them to get here and then we can start. Placing some stuff there. They need to be able to climb and stuff, right? The moose is loose. Lebo Hang, the meerkat, is about to die of old age. Can you believe it? Because I sure can't. Wow. God, this is going to take forever. We have a lot of lemurs arriving here right now. Whew. Here he is. Okay, no hard shelter and no climbables yet. We're working on it. Uh, 
I love this. Wow. These are like roller coaster rides. They have a musical keyboard that they're allowed to use? Oh! <laughs> what are you doing in here? Dowie. You don't belong in there. What a guy, eh? Jeez, what a guy. Okay, we need some grass in here to start with. Some short grass. Do 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 mm -hmm. I think there's like little rope tie things in so in here somewhere or I could be I could be lying. These things are noisy, huh? Okay, so enrichment, toy enrichment, food enrichment, none. But overall welfare is looking not so bad. They need some hard shelter and they do need some coverage of plants. But it looks like possibly their climbing needs are all met. Yes. Okay, good. Do, 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 do. Underpriced tickets? 35 bucks a ticket? Gosh, and it's three bucks for kids? <laughs> That's great. That is great. You can go kind of nuts with the coverage in here, but we do have to be careful that. Where do they sleep? Oh, they sleep on, uh, on little, uh, little beddings. <laughs> Plaster wall. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. 
Gotta like move these over slightly. Yeah. Do 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 do. Okay, we'll we'll put you. We'll use the climbing stuff though to uh to make them their um a little house. Then if they want to climb to the top of it, guess what? They can do that. If they want to go on the roof. Guess what? They can go on the roof. jumping Will they be able to get to the top here? Yeah. Oh, more research. Ooh, South America. Okay, so they now have hard shelter and everything else. They just need some uh, coverage and probably like food and enrichment stuff, right? Forge box, Jesus! It's like, and wait, oh, they'll eat um fruit and stuff out of an ice block. Okay, fair enough. He's playing the piano. I don't know if you can put uh, their food up high like that, right? I think we got to like put it here. 
possibly here. All right, and we're ready to put some nature in here. We've obviously got to be quite careful that we don't put um, trees too close to where they could potentially climb up, right? We don't want them climbing up and, and jumping out. Gosh, people, people seem to really be enjoying this. Look at all the people here. Maybe we should make these a bit higher. Oh, I don't think you can after you've selected them all. That's probably better, right? We could put a roof on it. Please install the boner window. I have. It's right here. Look. Boner window engage. Some of them will jump up onto this rock. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. Gross. That's gross. Okay, we got to start um, working on uh, these guys. Start researching them. God, there's so many of them here. Look at it. Look at them all. Okay, good. They seem pretty happy. They just need some plant coverage.
if they can climb up this tree, hopefully they just can't get out once they've climbed up the tree. This is a South American uh, thing, right? The the fallen mossy tree. I don't want to put a willow tree. They're too big. Oh my god, he's dunking his head right in. plenty of room to just sort of explore around in here and whatnot, right? They're just, they're, they're tiny. They don't need like a heck of a lot of space, I wouldn't have thought. Neat. Get some nice leaf coverage in here just to sort of uh, make the make it look a bit more detailed. Every time I play something uh, close to them, <laughs> they they get boxed up. It's good. I think that's fine. Are these are they still happy? Yep. Yep. Great. Well, there you go. We got some lemurs. 
not only that, we got some prairie dogs as well. A whole bunch of new animals. Look, these people are enjoying this view of the prairie. They've had babies! There's little babies in here already! Oh my god, look at how small they are. We got some good babies, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have very long to play, but we managed to get some stuff done. And actually, it's making the... Uh, the like, even though the zoo is kind of like in a grid, if you like, it's... We're, we're using the grid, but then, but then we're using, like, not grid space within the grid squares. So it's it's giving it, like, a busier look, you know? The wall with the gate has the climb protection on the wrong side. Who does it? Oh yeah, you're right, it does. Oh, that was a close call. Thank you so much. Okay, the climb protection has been enabled. You can do not like aquarium type stuff, but there is aquatic stuff like, uh, for example, penguins, which we have. You can't do like full, like there's not like sharks and stuff, but there's, you know, like the, the kind of aquatic animals you'd see at a zoo, like seals, penguins, um, that sort of stuff, you know? No land sharks, no giant squid, no salmon. There's no dolphins, no. There's crocodiles, yes, there are. There's alligators and crocodiles. Okay, we're going to have to put some signs here to help out with this. So this is in security. We want some quiet signs. that we don't stress out the animals. Whoa! <laughs> what a move. Did you see that move? That was wild. It was like like vampire gliding across. Like the, He looked like Liu Kang or something. That was insane. Okay. The keeper is feeding all these guys their peanuts now. Here they come. He's cleaning up all their little turds as well. Oh, they're cute. I love how they like jump off their climbing frame and stuff. Gorilla Island's not complete, no. It's uh We we're not really sidetracking though, because we are filling the 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 outer bits of Gorilla Island with stuff which will help it to complete and then we'll do the detailing and stuff at like as as we go sort of thing you know god the llama enclosure just gets so dirty it gets so dirty so quickly we have to check it more often nice all right chat i gotta go Listen, uh, I'll be around for some uh, some party stuff tonight. Failing that, we'll just do more uh, Planet Zoo. It's coming together. It's looking really good. We got some uh, we got some nice stuff done in the small amount of time that we played today. Um, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support as usual as well. I appreciate it. Thanks for the subs and resubs. Thanks for the donations. I'll be back in a couple hours for some party party animals or chainsaws or we'll do some hopefully some group stuff if some people are around we can hook up with justin and Corey and people like that boba she's around P play some party animals um so that'll be in uh in a couple hours time so i'll see you then um if not uh i will be back uh, tomorrow during the day and we'll play some more planet zoo then i don't have anything planned for tomorrow 
so we'll just have a full day of uh, rock plopping and uh, and we'll add some more animals to our zoo. Yeah? Okay, chat. Listen, LOL, lots of love. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Bye now. Bye.